Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd's Home Farm. Today we're gonna talk to you about the second stage of growing your strawberries, which is the propagation phase. Uh, most of the time strawberries shoot out runners that are these right here and these right here. And then it's literally a clone of the plant. And since I only made like four initial plants, one, two, three, four, I grew them from seed and that took a really long time. I got varieties that uh, make runners so I can have as many plants as I want. And so as they grow length, I put them into this one right here. I'm not sure if you can see, but I put a little, that's just a, um, a wire tie for like, you know, a bread tie, right? You get a little bread tie there. And then as you can see right there at the bottom, hard to see, there you go. I don't want to pull it up, but it's, it's growing roots into the bottom right there. Uh, this is what I did yesterday, and so that was still fresh. But you want to wait till it gets long enough, and and it has a full set of leaves on there. Like this one is too young. Okay, and then this one is just the right age. So tomorrow, once it gets long enough. I'll be able to put another net cup right here and have another plant in this one. And you can see, I get getting a little bit of water from my pump splashing around. But it's got these little knobs on there, to shoot out roots. If it doesn't get knobs, and it, it, it'll shoot out another runner from this one. It'll like run again. And so when you're cloning your plants and getting more strawberries, you only want one runner. You don't want this runner to send out another runner because then this plant will grow. It'll focus on shooting out another runner. Um, so allow the runners to grow as long as you need and get as many plants as you need. Then you can start pinching off the runners and then they will uh, start sending out flowers or, or flowers will start coming naturally once it's sent out a certain amount of runners. Um, if you don't need any more plants, if you have the total number of plants you want, just go ahead and pinch those off and then this plant will focus on generating more leaves and making a bigger plant. But I want a total of 15 and so far I only have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need more runners and more plants. And so it, and also some issues you might want to look at are you want to inspect the leaves as they're growing, uh, edges, Red edges are okay. These zoom features. There you go. Red edges are okay. But you want to look at for leaf scorch. Leaf scorch is red spots on leaves. See that one I'm a bit concerned. There's a little tiny spot right there. Leaf scorch, that means you have to get rid of the whole plant. Just take the plant out and get rid of it. Because it could possibly infect your other plants and there's no cure for it. But so besides that. Oh, and here, here's how I let my hydroponics run. It's a, it's a pump, and it just sprays up onto the lid here. And you can see how pretty, pretty the roots are. There's some really pretty roots. Those are very healthy. So it works as a mixing and an aeration at the same time. Uh, I guess the side effect is, is that, you know, sometimes the water comes through, but It'll come up to a certain height and then it'll go back in the reservoir or dry out. But you should be changing your reservoir every couple weeks anyway, so it's not even a really a big deal. So hopefully we can learn something from this. Uh, so this plant is about uh, September, so maybe a month and a half old. It's about a month and a half almost two months old. So you can grow grow strawberries from seed. You just gotta have patience. I mean, they were like really tiny for a long time, but after a while, it just starts growing a lot faster. And then, then you have this. Oh, and another thing I forgot to add is that this one, you don't pinch this off. This will die off on its own. This will, as you can see, it's got a couple of red spots already. What'll happen is, is this once this plant takes root, it will just will shrivel up and then you'll know when it, it's ready to sustain itself. So keep them, let the runners stay attached to the parent plant until they're ready to come off.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, do all that, all that YouTube stuff, and uh, check out my website for all the tools and equipment that I use to make all this stuff. And hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.